All right, we're here at the Hoarder House. We are completely done after almost five years. Let's check it out. So that was a little blast from the past there when we were redoing the bathroom or just cleaning it out really. Uh, There's a lot of junk in there as you can see. Every room was like that. So uh, make sure you go back to the old videos uh, when we first cleaned out the house. But um, I know some of you wanted to see what I found in that house. So let's get to that. So the first thing is um, right here is the collection of copper pipes that uh, I cut out of there. I knew I was putting all new pecs in there and um, that old copper. So I cut it out, it was fun, and uh, I got about $230 from cutting that out. So it was a nice little, nice little bonus check there. So I did find some money uh, while cleaning this out. Uh, underneath the master bedroom there was a sack and it had tons of change in there, already rolled. And here's a picture. There were $60 worth of pennies in there. So I took that to the bank, $60. So before I tell you the most expensive thing I found in this house, um, I did find a lot of old stuff that I have put on eBay, um, like for 20 bucks. Um, there's some that are like 40, 60, a couple hundred dollars items in there. A um, lot of Avon stuff. So I think she used to be like a representative or something and sold Avon. Um, because there's tons of stuff still in the box so um, maybe I'll link my eBay account on here sometime but um, yeah so the main thing that I found the thing that I thought I was gonna find my retirement and I didn't but I did find this so in the basement um, he had like a desk that he uh, like worked at and did bills and all these receipts but I did find this box and I was like oh my gosh and it was just rolls and, and, and roll after quarters. So here's a picture of it. You can see how moldy it was down there. Um, I ended up getting about $950 in uh, quarters. So not bad. So let's enter into the house, the hoarder house. And you can see, wow, what a transformation. Remember the picture before? Oh my gosh, all that mess. It was just crazy. There used to be a bookshelf in that corner there. All right, make our way to the dining room. This was another huge pile of mess. Holes in the ceiling. And come over here the bathroom which used to be a full bath but we made it into a half so we put the washer and dryer hookups right here new floor throughout this bottom here and as we make our way to the new kitchen turn this light on what a transformation we have room for the fridge the stove the microwave the dishwasher Everything's brand new in this thing. Remember the before picture? The orange countertops. It was crazy. Just trash all over the place. So bad we had to put a new subfloor in. Now they're just beautiful. Back to the original day. Let's see what kind of changes we made up here. Go in the master bedroom here, put this light on. You remember just trash. My goodness, it was a mess. Just a nice, clean, new room now. We head over to the next bedroom. I remember we could not even open this door up because the trash was all throughout. We got 
this nice new room here. Turn this light on. Drywall, paint, windows. We now have heat, which is great. And then our third bedroom. Turn this light on. And if you remember, there was a mattress like six feet up in the air in this room. That's how full of junk it was in this master closet. Now the full bathroom, remember this, this transformation? My goodness. Here's the before. Like just crazy mess. It had a hole in the wall. Now we've got this beautiful vanity, new floor, commode, the shower here, and the bath. Um, oops, I still gotta put my vanity light. So it's all in, and my handles for the vanity there. But yeah, what a huge transformation. All right, the big reveal. What am I gonna do with this house? Am I gonna sell it, rent it? Um, well, first of all, I don't like to sell my properties. I I'm in it for the long term. There's a lot of great things that uh, come with um, having rentals. You, you have the principal pay down by the tenant. You have tax advantages with these houses and um, depreciation. So those are always nice things. Um, but that, that rent money, that cash flow is nice. Um, so if you don't need it, don't sell it because it's going to go up in value over time. And um, so I'm going to rent it out, but I am going to talk to the bank and I'm going to do a, um, it's not really a cash out refinance because I don't have a finance on this place. I don't have a mortgage. So I'm just going to put a 30 year fixed mortgage on this place. The rates are still relatively good. Um, and then that's going to give me 75% of the value of this house. So instead of getting 155,000, I'm gonna get 75% of that, which is 124 or something like that. And then my plan is to reinvest that like I've done my entire life before it became popular with the burrs and all that. Um, so I have that money to reinvest. I'm not gonna go on some crazy trip, buy a new sports car. I might get a new pair of shoes because these are kind of bad, but, um, so reinvest that money, but um, I'm going to look for something that has a bigger ROI, uh, return on investment. So that might be some multifamily, that might be some vacation uh, rentals. Uh, we'll see, but uh, it's nice to have those options and um, do a little something different from the normal single family rental here in my small town. So I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, please like it, uh, subscribe, share, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.